Okay, Shannon, um, first of all, um, it's great to be able to see that you're back in action coming up. Can you tell us a little bit about what's going on with you uh, coming up in Denver a couple weeks? Um, on April 22nd, I'm fighting for Sparta Combat League, um, fighting um, Sherry Moraski. She's also out of Colorado. Um, the event is called Army vs. Marines, uh, so they will be um, honoring a lot of um, veterans of the fight. Um, looking forward to it. Yeah, now, what's it like for you to uh, be able to fight in your hometown? You know, it doesn't happen too often nowadays, but what's it, what's it like to be out, be out in Denver and be able to be out there for your hometown crowd? It's nice to fight at home. Um, I have a lot of fans at home, um, friends and family, so it's always good when they can come out. Um, but, you know, on a flip side, too, though, I also like getting away, too. There's less of that stress and pressure of fighting at home, but... Um, Fighting in front of the hometown crowd, is, it, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, I mean, Invictus, Invictus is heating up right now, especially with the Wood Line Divide Division as well. Um, are you hoping to possibly get back to back to Invictus at some point this year and to, to be able to face some good competition? I'm always re ready to get on the, uh, an Invictus card. Um, the, yeah, the 125-pound division, is it's stacked right now. I think that's probably the deepest division they have. Um, <coughs> You know, they've got a lot of uh, newcomers uh, into that division, and, uh, you know, I'm looking to face any one of them. Yeah, speaking of 125 division, I mean, we're seeing that, that a lot of the 125s are right now pushing to, to be able to be in the UFC as well. Um, obviously, <coughs> you'd love to be in the UFC, you know, at 125, 125 pounds. Do you think that we'll, 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 we'll see a 125 division by the end of the year? Oh, for sure. Um, I think it's just a matter of time. Um, you know, there's a lot of 115ers that are, you know, cutting to 115 because that's the only way to get in. Or, you know, there's those that are fighting a little bit too heavy at the 135. So I think uh, 125 would be the deep, uh, deepest division once they do open it. And like I said, I think it's just a matter of time. And we hear people like Joanna uh, rumoring that it's coming and um, Jojo uh, Caldwood saying the same thing. So I think we'll see it pretty soon. Yeah, no, uh, it's gonna, you're going to have a, pro, I, by sounds like you're starting to have a really <coughs> busy year. I mean, you have, you have a fight coming up. Um, you're here at Fusion because they wanted to have you fight here. Obviously, Invicta might be calling at some point as well. Um, you know, looking forward to it, is, you know, how, how, how is this year compared to last year? And, you know, what's it like being a little bit more busier um, coming up this year and have some of, that, some of those prospects ahead of you? Um, you know, if anyone who knows me knows that I, I like to fight and I'm trying to stay busy. Um, I'm probably one of the older fighters, so, uh, you know, I, I, need, I need to stay busy right now. I don't have a lot of time to set through the year. Um, Last year I had a busy year, but I started it off boxing just to get that, um, you know, that time in the ring. Um, so, you know, it's, it's good. I had a fight already in January, looking to fight here in April. Um, you know, and I want to fight, you know, hopefully I come out of that fight healthy and looking to fight another fight right after that. Talking to Fusion about possibly uh, in the fall. So, you know, if we can squeeze in an Invicta right in the middle there through the summer, I'd be happy. Invicta starting a boxing promotion. I'm, you said that you've yeah. been doing some boxing. I mean, is that something that you'd be interested in? Of course, uh, fight to fight. Um, I'll, I'll box. I'll, I'll do MMA, kickboxing, whatever. Um, I'm excited to see what Invicta does with the boxing. If they're going to bring in, um, you know, legit just boxers, or are they going to let the the MMA fighters, you know, take some boxing fights to to stay busy? I know there's a lot of girls um, in that flyweight division, like Heather Hardy, for example. She uh, she was a boxer, but now doing MMA. So, um, you know, I, I think there's room for some of the MMA girls to go over to the boxing side also. Yeah, I mean, it's great to be able to see that they're doing something like that, you know, to, to doing the boxing end of things. And, and you know, what, what do you think about the state of women's boxing right now? We're seeing people like um, Forza Shields and all of the Olympians from, from this last Olympics are making their pro debuts or have made their pro debuts and are starting out as well. So um, how, how do you feel, I mean, having coming from the boxing end of things, how do you feel about that? And do you feel that women's boxing is really starting to, starting to, starting to catch up this year in terms of uh, competition with, the, with women's mixed martial arts? Um, yeah, I, I feel like uh, we're seeing a lot more of it now. You know, I've never noticed it in the past or the way we have um, here recently, which is good for the women too, because I'm, I mean, Clarissa Shields, for example, is a phenomenal boxer, but you know, not a lot of, a lot of people knew about her um, before. Uh, so it's good that they're getting that exposure too. You know, it took the women a while, but once people started paying attention, like, look at it now. It's growing really fast. And, you know, hopefully the same thing happens on the boxing side. I mean, for, for you to take over and go into boxing, I mean, you obviously learned a lot in terms of that and how, how do you do to do adjust? Did you bring some of that back into the into your MMA? And are we going to be able to see that a little bit more of that coming into the next couple fights? Um, I think you're going to see that a lot in my next fight. Um, and yeah, it just gave me some time to. Uh, 
to really just focus on my hands um, for that boxing fight last year. And you know, training for MMA, it's it's hard to put it all together, you know, train everything and put it all together. So taking these little breaks and being able to just focus on one um, discipline of it, I think is, is really helpful. I think to be able to actually, you know, put it to work in just a boxing fight, it was a good experience for me. I'm at Shannonson MMA on Twitter. Um, I believe that's on, is it the same thing on Instagram, I believe? It's on everything. everything. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. I think that's all I have. Just those um, but Shannon Cinema yeah. Game. Yeah, and any anything else you want to add? Um yeah, I'm actually right now I um I'm fighting for a cause. It's called Justice Sixty One. Um I'm trying to bring attention to it. It's a non profit organization that helps um free children um, from sex trafficking. So it's a, it's a nonprofit organization that helps take these girls out of this um, this sex slave of life and um, care for them, give them um, protection, education, whatever they need. Um, so if you, just, you can take a look at Justice 61 and if you're able to donate, please do, or if you just can share the page and just uh, bring more attention to the cause. Okay, awesome. Uh, and best luck to you coming next fight. Thank you. Okay.